the first equation is a1x plus b1y plus c1 equals 0. This is one linear equation. The second one is a2x plus b2y plus c2 equals 0. What all types of solutions can a pair of linear equations have? There are three variants that are possible. The first one is this. A pair of linear equations in two variables which has a unique solution. Exactly one value of x and y will satisfy these two equations. Is called a consistent pair of linear equations. This is the second variant. A pair of linear equations, it need not have a solution at all, which has no solution, is called an inconsistent pair of linear equations. There's a third possibility. This is one solution, this is zero solution, then there is a possibility of having infinitely many solutions. A pair of linear equations which are equivalent, we'll understand what this in a little while, not to worry right now, will have infinitely many distinct common solutions. Such a pair is called a dependent pair of linear equations in two variables. This is also a consistent system. This is also a consistent one. The second one is the inconsistent one. What are we going to look at it? We're going to pick these two equations. We're going to check out what will be the condition for the first situation. What's the condition for the second one? What's the condition to be satisfied for the third one? And we'll also check out what do they mean graphically. Let's start with the first one. If you have two straight lines, they could intersect at one point as it happens in this diagram, in this graph. They may intersect at a single point. In that case, such a pair of linear equations will have a unique solution. Let's say this equation representing this line is a1x plus b1y plus c1 equals 0. And let's say the second line has an equation which is a2x plus b2y plus c2 equals 0. These two equations will intersect at one point and have a unique solution. When is that going to happen? That condition is this. a1 by a2 should not be equal to b1 by b2. Let's take an example, elucidate it and then consolidate what do we mean by this graphically. Right? I'm going to take an example, 3x plus 4y plus 5 equals 0 is equation 1. Second one, let's take it as 4x plus 5y plus 6 equals 0. What is a1 by a2? a1 by a2 is a 3 upon 4. What is b1 by b2? That's a 4 upon 5. 3 upon 4 is not equal to 4 by 5. Therefore, this pair of linear equations will have a unique solution. They represent graphically, as you've seen already, a pair of straight lines that intersect at one point or intersecting lines. So quickly, we'll have a unique solution, a consistent one in the case when a1 by a2 is not equal to b1 by b2. Graphically, what it represents is a, a pair of intersecting lines. Let's look at the second scenario. This is a case where we have no solution. Obviously, you would have probably heard the saying, parallel lines never meet. Yeah, if you have a pair of parallel lines, they are not going to meet. So, if lines are parallel, in that case, because they don't have a meeting point at all, there is going to be no value, there is going to be no point that's common to both. Any solution to an equation is a point on the line. If you don't have a common point at all, there is going to be no common value which is going to be a solution to it, which is why it's called inconsistent, that is why it's called no solution. When is that going to happen? Equations are a1x plus b1y plus c1 equals 0. Second one is a2x plus b2y plus c2 equals 0. For a pair of linear equations which are parallel, what condition needs to be satisfied so that they have no solution? a1 by a2 should be equal to b1 by b2 and that should not be equal to c1 by c2. Okay, let me pick an example to illustrate this. 3x plus 4y plus 5 equals 0. 6x plus 8y plus 15 is equal to 0. What is a1 by a2? That's a 3 by 6 which is equal to 1 by 2. What is b1 by b2? Which is 4 by 8 which is equal to 1 by 2. So a1 by a2 is equal to b1 by b2. What is c1 by c2? That's a 5 by 15 which is equal to 1 by 3 which is not equal to what a1 by a2 or b1 by b2 was. So this pair of linear equations will have no solution. What do they represent graphically? They represent a pair of parallel lines. Right? Quickly, to have no solution, a pair of linear equations has to satisfy this condition. a1 by a2 equals b1 by b2 is not equal to c1 by c2. Graphically, what does it represent? It represents a pair of parallel lines. Third scenario, when we're going to talk about infinitely many solutions. That could happen if the two straight lines are coincident. One lies flat on top of the other. In this case, the equations have infinitely many solutions. Any point on one line is going to be a point on the other one. It's called a dependent pair of equations or they'll say one equation, one line equation is the equivalent of the other. Let's quickly look at when is that going to happen. a1x plus b1y plus c1 equals 0 is one line. The second line also, which is lying on top of it, that equation is a2x plus b2y plus c2 equals 0. 
they will be coincident. They will have infinitely many solutions when this condition is satisfied. A1 by A2 equals B1 by B2 equals C1 by C2. So look at an example, something like 4x plus 5y plus 6 equals 0, 8x plus 10y plus 12 equals 0. So A1 by A2 is a 4 upon 8, which is a 1 by 2. B1 by B2 is a 5 by 10, which is also 1 upon 2. C1 by C2 is a 6 upon 12, which is also equal to 1 by 2. So 1 by 2, 1 by 2, 1 by 2, A1 by A2 equals B1 by B2 equals C1 by C2. Look at the second equation. Is it nothing but two times the first equation? That's why say, they said these are equivalent equations, dependent system of equations. So for a pair of linear equations to have infinitely many solutions, the condition to be satisfied is this a1 by a2 equals b1 by b2 equals c1 by c2. And what do they represent graphically? A pair of coincident lines, right? So we know three things. Unique solution when a1 by a2 is not equal to b1 by b2. No solution a1 by a2 equals b1 by b2 but is not equal to c1 by c2. Infinitely many solutions when a1 by a2 is equal to b1 by b2 is equal to c1 by c2, right? So concept number one done. Let's quickly look at how this is tested. Start with this question. On comparing these ratios, find out whether the lines representing these two linear equations have been given two parts, right? Do they intersect at a point? Are they parallel lines? Or are they coincident lines? Start with the first pair. 5x minus 4y plus 8 equals 0. So a1 equals 5, b1 equals minus 4, c1 equals 8. In this equation, a2 equals 7, b2 equals 6, and c2 equals minus 9. So let's find out these ratios. a1 by a2. a1 by a2 is a 5 by 7. b1 by b2 is a minus 4 by 6. And C1 by C2 is equal to 8 by minus 9. A1 by A2 is not equal to B1 by B2. 5 by 7 is obviously not going to be equal to a negative number. We don't even have to bother about what this is. If A1 by A2 is not equal to B1 by B2, then we are talking about a consistent system of linear equations. We are talking about a unique solution. We are talking about a pair of intersecting lines. That's what we are talking about. Quickly summarize this. We found out the ratios. The ratios are 5 by 7. In this case, it's reduced to a minus 2 by 3 and C1 by C2 is equal to minus 8 by 9. This is not equal. That's good enough. It doesn't matter whether this is equal or not. Obviously, we're not going to worry, be worried about it. So because A1 by A2 is not equal to B1 by B2, we have a unique solution. They intersect at one point. This is a consistent system of linear equations. Let's so move on to the second example. Part 2 in this has two equations. 4x plus 5y plus 10 equals 0. So A1 is 4, B1 is 5, C1 equals 10. Correspondingly, a2 is an 8, b2 equals 10, and c2 equals 20. Quickly, find out a1 by a2, b1 by b2, c1 by c2. Pause the video at this stage probably, compute the answer, find out what kind of a solution, and then come back to the video. Here to do it, we'll quickly run through that here. a1 by a2 is a 4 upon 8, which is equal to 1 by 2. b1 by b2 is a 5 upon 10, which is also equal to 1 by 2. c1 by c2 is a 10 upon 20, which is also equal to 1 by 2. So 1 by 2 is equal to 1 by 2 is equal to 1 by 2. a1 by a2 equals b1 by b2 equals c1 by c2. So what are we then, what are we talking about? We are talking about infinitely many solutions is what we are talking about. What kind of lines are these? These two lines are coincident lines. So one equation is equivalent of the other. Second equation is two times the first equation. Summarize it in a printed form. We got a1 by a2 equals b1 by b2 is equal to c1 by c2. Therefore, infinitely many solutions, coincident lines is what we are talking about. Before you leave, I want you to do two things. One, register at online.mathstude.com to get started with your CBSE class nine online math tuition. It takes all of three steps and less than five minutes to get started with your CBSE class nine online math tuition. Second, I want you to subscribe to this channel, youtube.com slash mathstude and turn on notifications. Until next time, stay healthy, stay safe and stay motivated.